Hey everyone, welcome to Adam's channel. Today we'll be going over the clove hitch. I'll teach you how to tie this friction hitch from the middle and end of the rope. Then briefly discuss the uses with the clove hitch. Like always, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave comments on what you'd like to see in the future. All right, let's get on with the video. All right, when tying the clove hitch with the end of the rope, we're gonna call this my working end and this is my running end again. I place my working end over my object with enough, I guess, extra rope to whatever you want to anchor or tie that end to. I'm going to do a complete turn around my object and I'm going to go over my loop going to my running end. So I pretty much made a full loop. From this end, I'm going to go back around my object in the opposite direction, so not the same as my running end, but towards my working end. And when I spread these apart, notice I just made two loops with a locking bar across. When I tighten that down, perfect clove hitch. This clove hitch is extremely adjustable. If I need more on one side, I just push it from my running end. If I need more, Sorry, if I need more on my working end, I push it from my running end. From my working end towards my running end, I can just push the opposite way. It's extremely adjustable and a great knot. This is best used when there's weight on both sides. If I just have one weight on one side, there's a potential for that coming loose, especially if it gets bumped a bunch of times. But if it's weighted on both sides, whether it be a climber and a tie-in point, a tent and a stake or what have you it's just really going to set in and you can adjust it to how you need it uh, next i'll tie you teach you how to tie from the middle of the rope all right when tying from the middle of the rope hold your rope out in front of you and whether you want to do it from your left hand or your right hand i'll start from my right i'm going to turn towards me so towards me, towards my left hand, then my left hand, I'm gonna do the exact same. Turn in the same direction. So I went from right to left, so from right to left. Then I want my back one over my front one. And I can open that up and I simply drape it over my object and tighten it down. I'll do that one more time. So I turn it towards me from right to left, and then I do the exact same motion with my left hand from right to left. Now the one in the back goes over the front. I can open it up, I can adjust it how I need. I slip it over the top of my object, whether it's a tent pole or what have you, and tighten it down. And that's a perfect clove hitch. Clove hitch is great for general work around the house, camping with tents, uh, tarps, and then again, climbing and mountaineering. Really, there's plenty of uses with the clove hitch. It's definitely a knot that you need in your pocket. Uh, well, keep practicing on the clove hitch and let me know how you use it in your uh, daily life. Well, thank you for joining me. And hopefully you've subscribed and turned on those notifications so you don't miss the next video. Take care.